Hi everyone. Um, so today's video is uh, unfortunately not going to be a happy video. Um, for those of you that follow us on our social media, uh, you may have already heard on uh, Monday evening, April 30th, we unexpectedly lost Rona. Uh, she was healthy. Um, those of you that follow us know that they go to the vet on a regular basis, so she just went to the vet uh, about a month ago. And she was healthy. Um, it was something that happened within a matter of hours. Um, we do have some information. We, we don't know the exact cause. Um, we did not opt to have a necropsy done, I believe that's how you say it, which is basically an autopsy for pets. Um, we felt we did not want to um, have that type of an invasive procedure done to her. So uh, we did speak with the vet to, uh, to try to get an idea of what may have happened um, based on her symptoms and the short time frame. The vet believes that it may have been some form of a toxin. Now, we are very cautious about things in the house, things in the yard. We don't even use chemicals in our yard. Um, um, you know, we do treat our yard for uh, fleas, ticks, mosquitoes. But we use a product that is a pet-friendly product. And actually, we haven't used it this year yet, so it's not like it was in the yard. Um, but, like I said, speaking to the vet, the vet gave us some ideas of what may have happened. And then talking to some of the neighbors, some things started making sense. Um, where we are, we're in Central Florida. We have lizards and frogs. Um, we have a unusual amount of frogs around our area right now. Um, and that is due to, uh, unfortunately, um, a neighbor that is diagonally behind us. Um, when Hurricane Irma hit us back in September, a tree fell in her yard, knocked down their pool enclosure. Um, you know, unfortunately they did have damage and we feel bad, but they have not cleaned their pool or maintained their pool since then. So we now have uh, mosquitoes and frogs in their yard around their pool, and we have a large amount of frogs. Now, generally, frogs and lizards are not hazardous to the dogs, according to the vet, unless they come in contact with some sort of a toxin, uh, some sort of a chemical that may have been uh, used in someone's yard or in someone's pool. Recently, that neighbor was pouring chemicals, we don't know what chemical, but they were using chemicals in the pool, trying to kill the mosquitoes and frogs. Um, they were skimming the pool and dumping stuff in the yard and then pouring another chemical on top of that, which we came to find out a few days ago was bleach. We also found out that um, another neighbor um, diagonally the other way from us, one of their dogs 
about two weeks before Rona became sick from a frog. So with that information and with the information we gave the vet, um, it's believed that she may have accidentally been poisoned by something. Um, we're not putting blame on anyone or accusing anyone of anything. We know that, you know, whatever happened, it wasn't intentional, but we also want to make everyone aware. Um, not only should you be careful of products you use around your house, in your yard, but try to be aware of what your neighbors may be doing. Um, like I said, it may not be intentional, but you know, something that nobody really thinks about, the neighbors having the yard treated for, you know, insects or, you know, something, or they're pouring something on their yard, it can affect the pets in the area. We never even thought about it until the vet mentioned it to us that a lizard or frog could have come in contact with a chemical in the yard and then, you know, she could have, you know, Rona liked to go after lizards and, um, you know, they used to, you know, they, they play, I say play with the frogs, but, you know, they chase the frogs around the yard sometimes. If she picked one up in her mouth, she probably didn't even need to ingest it. She could have licked a frog, a, a lizard, or something that had a toxin on it. And um, from the time she started showing, she wasn't even showing signs of being like severely ill. She actually was showing signs of an upset stomach. And um, within eight hours, of her showing that sign, she passed away. So, you know, we're, we're sad to bring this news to you guys, but at the same time, we wanted to bring awareness to everyone. Like I said, you know, not only be careful of what's in your yard or what you use in your yard, but be aware of what your neighbors may be using in their yard. Um, so we decided with uh, Rona um, that we, we, we took her to, uh, this happened late at night, so we had to take her to an emergency uh, vet. And, um, you know, we decided that we needed to have her come back home. So uh, we decided we had Rona cremated and um, we got her her own little uh, cherry wood box. They had urns you could pick from and stuff, so we decided to get a cherry wood box. So her remains are in a special bag uh -huh. that is inside the box with uh, a nameplate on the front it has her name on it. Uh, we also decided we had her paw prints uh, taken in clay. So we have her paw print. Um, it's been hard. Even these guys, for several days, felt the effects. Um, you know, um, they know what happened. You know, um, unfortunately, you know, she passed away here at home, and they saw it. And they seemed depressed for a few days. They're, they're getting better. We've been uh, playing with them and 
doing things with them to try to keep our minds occupied and their minds occupied. Um, we will never, ever forget her or stop thinking about her. But we need to do what we can to make things easier for these guys also. All right, so we decided to put together um, some video clips from recent videos of Rona and things that she did to help keep her memory alive. Um, in some of the clips um, that you'll see, uh, one of the things that Rona did that we found funny is uh, this, we call it a butt thing. She would swing her butt around at the dogs, at us, at the cats, swing her head around, you know, she did that trying to get you or them to play with her. Um, and you'll see what I mean in the upcoming clip. So, uh, I, I don't know what else to say at this point. But, uh, we'll, be, we'll be posting again soon. Um, you know, this, this affected us and we haven't posted in a little bit, so. We'll be getting back to posting. So uh, this is a memory of Rome. Thank you.